all right so look at this question this question is basically what answer the following in respect of elements p and this is, this is the symbol that is what somewhere it is this is one number that is 15 and this is another number that is what your 31 so first we will see what is the meaning of the symbol okay that is somewhere related to this question okay so this is pretty simple you know that this is the symbol of phosphorus and this 15 stands for the atomic number this 15 stands for what atomic number okay this 15 stands for atomic number all right and wha what about this 31 so this 31 is basically what your mass number this 31 is basically what your mass number okay now what is this atomic number this atomic number is equals to what number of proton this atomic number is equals to what number of proton and that is equals to number of electron in an atom number of electron number of electron in an atom because we know that atom is what as a whole atom is electrically neutral so the number of positive charge that is number of protons must be equals to the number of negative charge and that is what number of electron so now you know the number of electron inside an atom of what phosphorus by the help of this symbol okay so this is what your phosphorus and you have 15 electrons now we are going to solve this first part of this question so the first part says that give its electronic configuration okay so you have to uh, write the electronic configuration of phosphorus so how to write simple you have 15 electrons all right so in first shell you can put maximum two electrons all right uh, so we are done with that in first shell we have put already two electrons now we are left with what 13 electrons in second shell we can maximum put what eight electrons so okay done now we are done uh, we are done with what 10 electrons we are left with what five electrons okay now you see this is what you in third shell we can put maximum 18 electrons so definitely we can put five so this is the electronic configuration of phosphorus that is what two eight and five all right the two electron this is in first shell this is again important we'll see what is it um, and in second shell it is what eight electrons and in third shell it is what five electrons all right so now the second part before doing the second part we will move to the fourth part and you know phosphorus phosphorus is a non-metal okay it's just an information for you phosphorus is what yeah non-metal okay now the second part what is that second part to which group and period does it belong okay so first we will see the period okay so it's very simple for if you want to find the period of any element what you have to do just go and see the electronic configuration and in electronic configuration the last electron see the last electron the last electron is going in which shell is going in which shell so here the last electron if you will see the last electron is going in what third shell so the period will be what again third three okay so the num in which shell the number of that cell particular will be ju just equals to the number of what period okay so phosphorus is in the third period of periodic table okay now the second second uh, is what group so how to find the group okay so group basically if you follow the mendeleev periodic table if if you follow the mendeleev periodic table okay mendeleev periodic table okay all right so if you follow the mendeleev periodic table mendeleev mendeleev periodic table okay so for the mendeleev periodic table what you have to do wha wha what you have to do simple just see the number of valence electron that is electron in outermost shell that is your third shell so that is what five put it in uh, this uh, five and this uh, this is what your a okay okay so this is what your five in roman numerals and a so th this is what your uh, th th this is what your group in Mendeley periodic table and if you want to find the group in modern periodic table if you find if you want to find the group in modern periodic table so what is the group in modern periodic table all right so modern periodic table what is the group so what you have to do if you have non-metal if you have non-metal if you have non-metal so the for non-metal what you have to do just add 10 plus number of 10 plus number of valence electron and here number of valence electron is what 5 so 10 plus 5 and that is equals to what 15 
so in modern periodic table phosphorus is in 15th group and in Mendeleev's periodic table phosphorus is in about 5th A okay now what is its valency okay so the, your third question is what your third part of this question is what your valency okay so how to find this valency okay it's very simple valency is what number of valence electron this is what your number of valence electron or 8 minus number of valence electron okay so how many how many valence electron here it is what uh, it is what 5 or it is what 8 minus 5 so that is what your 3 3 so it is what your 3 and 5 but remember here just I want to put one point that for second period element for second period element for second period element valency cannot be greater than cannot be greater than 4 okay valency sorry not equals to sorry it's just cannot be greater than 4 it it may be 4 or less than 4 so it cannot be greater than 4 okay so but the phosphorus is in what in third period so okay you are fine with this that is what valency will be what 3 and 5 but suppose if you if you have nitrogen nitrogen okay so nitrogen is what 7 and nitrogen is also in what same uh, I think group okay so this is what the electronic configuration of nitrogen is what 2 and 5 okay so 2 and 5 so what is its group okay so if you see Mendeleev's periodic table valence electron put it in Roman numerals and put a if it is non-metal okay so if it is non-metal 5 a okay and and if it is if it is non-metal of course for it is non-metal nitrogen is what non-metal nitrogen is what non-metal so for, for modern periodic table it is what 10 plus 5 that is what again 15 so the same group they are in what same group but but this is what in second period why because in first shell 2a electrons and in second shell you have what five electrons so as I said you earlier that the last electron is going in second shell the period will be what Th this is what your group this is what your group this is this is what your group and the period will be what period is what two period is what two so basically nitrogen is in second period so the valency now what you will do valency so you will uh, valence electron that is five or eight minus five that is what three but you have you are not supposed to take this five because as I said you that the for second period element valency cannot be greater than four so you have to take only three here okay hope it is clear